If you guys haven't seen my last video, which was all about how much I make as an online influencer, I revealed how much exactly I've made from different platforms, and you guys really like that business kind of talk. Also, because of COVID and the whole online working at home kind of systems, I hope that these tips could be really helpful for you guys who want to get started as an online influencer. Today's video, I'm going to be talking all about portfolios and websites. And yes, my website I'm going to be creating through Wix, which this video is also brought to you by Wix, where you can make your own professional websites for small businesses portfolios and just so much more if you guys are a graphic designer website artist please watch this video and help me to improve my website and let's make a greasy grace website together if you leave a comment down below and if I take your suggestions I will put credit to you on my website so that this website was also in collaboration with all my subscriber and fans so we're gonna go to wix.com sign in or sign up if you guys don't have one there's an option where the wix ADI will create the website for you but I just want to create it from scratch myself so I'm gonna do choose a template there's literally endless amounts of templates that you guys could pick from so I'm gonna be picking the second one just because I think it's the most cleanest and it's the idea that I'm going for which I have my inspiration from Madison Beer's website and, and Ariana Grande's website I just want to have like a couple music videos maybe fan arts and like different services that I provide for brands and things like that so so Wix already created a sample template for me and I'm just gonna be changing everything up and let me just start with what I'm thinking so I'm envisioning a blue Black. I just think black is so chic and very clean. So I'm just gonna go for the black. I mean, what do you guys think? I know that a lot of people, when they think of Grazy Grace, you guys think of like popping colors and things like that. But I wanna kind of change it up. Remember, I wanna show myself in a more professional image. And I mean, changing the header design and everything as well and just keep it black or very dark gray. So going to the Wix editor, which is on the left, there's many pages, backgrounds to add and add apps and blogs. There's many options that you could add to your website using the editor. And they have something called the video mask which I thought was so interesting so I'm just gonna drag it and see what it looks like this cool heart okay so you could change videos and put myself on here so I'm gonna click change video and put a little bit of my music video here so people could directly see me in action if you don't have your own music video that's fine Wix already has a lot of videos that you guys could choose from depending on what your business is so ooh, I like this I like this all right so next thing I have to put my name here Crazy Grace. Again, I'm gonna go to the editor, I'm gonna go to the ads, and they have the text options where they have all the heading, titles, and paragraphs here for you. So all you have to do is drag the style that you want, and yes, you could change the color and title, so don't worry technically what you pick. I want something elegant and simple. So I picked the Lulu Clean font option. I like this one. I think it screams Crazy Grace. Okay, so scrolling down, I'm gonna be taking out the About Me page because I think people don't really write about me anymore. A lot of artists actually took out About Me and they just, they just, they just go with the chill flow so what a lot of artists do is just put their music video in a big strip and that's it it's like a clean way to just like tell people who you are so go into the editor and the add option i'm gonna go to the video and music section and there's many ways that you could add the video so i really like this clean option well i don't know what you guys think but i'm just gonna go with this clean option it's a big strip and clicking manage videos and add the link to your music video or whatever video you have on youtube and just link it and it will pop up right here but i put my latest planet music video you guys should always put the latest one first and then the old ones because there are a lot of people who just put the old ones which i don't think is really appealing you always want to have something new that you want to show the audience so what is the second thing you want to represent yourself so i put my vlog where i went to sweden this year in 2020 but i do have my live performance on my vlog so i wanted to include that so people could see that i do live shows live shows are really important for musical artists because it really separates you from just and an online artist to a real music artist that do live performances. So, so far, do you guys like this clean template? I personally really like it. So scrolling down, I wanted to put the three main photos that will describe me with very minimal words. So using the editor, the ad, and we're gonna go to the interactives and see what we could find. Ooh, okay, so there's many interactive options where basically when you hoover over, it will create like a mini animation effect. So this is really great for a lot of artists or small businesses. So I put my three pictures that I really want to put on my hovering picture options and here's the first one which is trend 101 so fashion is something that I want people to think about when they see me second is live concerts people want to see if you do live shows again this is super important if you want to be a musical artist get yourself out there do some shows go on talent shows in your school do busking I mean whatever you have options available do it and then the third one is 
fans. I want to show people and brands that I have fans of people that are supporting and I do, again, live shows. Here's another section that I made with using the gallery in the editor, which is this is the fan art page that I want to show you guys. I just really appreciate creative side of you guys. So I want to appreciate and have like this little section where I just showcase all the art that I get. Whoever it might be that's supporting you, always show appreciation. So this is my little art appreciation here. In the editor, there's also button options where you guys can link it to anywhere you want. But I personally found it so important to put the contact button. You have to put your contact and emails anywhere and everywhere on your social media website because you want to make it super easy for people to contact you right away. So the music and composing section is pretty self-explanatory. I put my music video, songs that I wrote, shows that I was on when I was on TV and things like that. So people see that I've done many different things. So let's go to the YouTube page here. Now this part, I need your help to see how I could renovate this section here. I just, but I really like this split photo options that Wix already had in store. Now I have two channels on YouTube, Crazy Grace and Crazy TV. So I thought it was important to just have a split. Yes, showcasing your subscriber amount is really important too. So you could let people know that you have a lot of supporters and that you are a legit YouTuber, online influencer. Now the next section, the commercial sections is a section I really want to show you guys. And here's a Samsung commercial that I did, Z Flip, the newest phone commercial, um, the Blackpink, K-Bank, the commercials that I've done. Really cool thing here on the editor, they have already a paragraph option here for you. So you don't have to pick the fonts. Go to edit text, change the color of the text. I'm gonna keep it white. All right, I've created a page called services where I showcase the brands that I've worked with. And I thought this was really important as an online influencers because you want to tell other brands that yes, you are professional and you deliver. Now, I personally just want to try out this 3D carousel options. I thought this was a pretty cool, a 3D thing. So I dragged it here and just added a screenshot of all the major brands that I've worked with. So I've done hosting for a company called Sutatu last year. So here's a picture. So you want to put anything and everything that you do professional. So people could like literally choose and decide which skill that sh they should work with you. Here's the affiliate page, which I've made it into pink just because the black theme did not go well with this hoovering option that I really want to do where I showcase my codes. So again, like I said in my last video, affiliates is a really great side money. So this is a really cool hoovering option here. All I did was take the pictures of each brand. So when you hoover over, you could see what the brand is about. And people could directly shop from your website, which is a really great way to, again, put some side earnings in your websites. Mostly, I know a lot of you guys are also bloggers. Blog is a really great way to bring traffic to your site, especially if you do blogs on fashion, art. As you guys can see, there's many layouts and designs here that you guys could pick from. I personally really like this magazine style. I think it's clean. So the main blogs that I really want to write about with my outfits and my fashion choices. Another great way is I put what's on me, which whatever I'm wearing, but you could also directly link that to your affiliate link so you could possibly earn extra commission from it. If you are not a artist portfolio, you guys could make small businesses. So going to the editor and add apps. There's Wix stores, Wix bookings, Wix events, restaurant orders, and so much more for small businesses to get started. There's even Wix hotels and music also to sell your audios and the videos here. There's many ways to engage with the audiences using Twitter feeds, Instagram feeds, and Wix forms. So there's just so many other apps and editor options that you guys could use to create your own professional website. So you guys, this is my website that I have so far. I want you guys to let me know if there are other options that I could go for, any color options that you guys have. If you guys don't want to leave a comment, you guys could go to my website and click contact and email me any of your suggestions. Of course, credit you guys as one of my website designers. You guys, let's all support each other. If you guys are small businesses or have a portfolio, leave your link down below so we can go and visit it. If you guys want to create your own website, remember to go to wix.com slash go slash crazy TV in order to make your own professional website. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in my next video.